people to another race this time we're here at homestead miami but this time instead of 20 laps it's going to be 12 laps at this amazing circuit which will definitely be remembered in history for a long long time i'm alex hunter and hello once again ty how are you doing this uh, afternoon By the way, I'd just like to mention that Quinn Hauf won't be competing in the race because he was involved in a car accident and unfortunately they couldn't find a replacement fast enough. But it's going to be green flags and away we go for the first of the 12 laps we have here for the Dixie Vodka 12 laps. Yes, 12 laps. Anyways, but currently Kevin Harvick in the lead. You can see peeking out uh, is the number three trying to make an overtake on uh, uh, the 18. And he does successfully make that overtake. There's Keselowski in the number 22 this year trying to get to the inside of Kevin Harvick. Kind of blocking at the same time that number 17. He has to watch those two bottom and top lanes and they could be a third lane forming in the middle there but nothing uh too menacing so far as we're coming to lap number two already here on lap number one we've already been seeing a couple of overtakes up and down the field so that's going to be signs of greatness as there's Danny Hammond down the inside I think there's like four wide going on back there uh, between a couple of cars there I'm not exactly sure which cars those were but uh, Keselowski in the lead currently Ryan Blaney gonna uh, dive down to the inside I keep on confusing Ryan uh, you keep on confusing Ryan Blaney with Chase Elliott as we're here on lap number three of the race and the 78 now taking a peek down to the inside that's going to be uh, most of the field going three wide through the turns. Yeah, yeah, true. I do tend to do that mistake a bit. Oh, uh, Kislowski decides to stay out there. Uh, it was a little bit sketched there as well. Coming on to lap 
number four already it's not the biggest of strikes ryan blaney in third place he might get overtaken um missing misjudging where kevin harvey could be is uh keselowski and he's all the way on the outside but still keeps position he's probably going to be attempting to block oh he doesn't go all the way down the number four has this chance right here but unfortunately can't get the overspeed to even get close to thinking about a move there but maybe now no keslowski's gonna block him there as i can see austin Sindrick trying to defend against the number 37 there as the number 37 is literally on top of him as we're coming on uh the exit of lap of uh turn four here on lap number six everybody's pitting here on lap number six now obviously there are some different tires obviously being used due to how short this race oh my gosh what has happened there uh, that, uh, what has happened there? Uh, sorry to disrupt, but uh, I just got some news that there's debris on the track, so it's going to be caution here at the exit of pit lane, not the first caution this racetrack has experienced. The the thirty seven is way too aggressive, man. Gotta deal with that, guys. So that's Austin Sindrick complaining about uh the 37's aggression and uh yeah the 37 has been aggressive while blocking probably so that he can get some early points and maybe get a buffer between him and some of his rivals but uh it was quite a bit aggressive we're gonna get back underway and it's green flags once again here on lap number eight of the ditzy vodka 12 laps already uh some drivers checking out back there and so off of the caution it's going uh, to be uh Gar um, it's going to be harvick and keselowski leading us off but now keselowski gets down to the inside and he is going to take that the oh that's alex bowman he's gotten gone into the pits here on lap number nine could it be a mechanical failure or an issue with this car oh and that's the 47 i think that is who's gone below the right line so he's gonna have to slow down and rejoin on the back straight Abs uh, absolute calamity for the two drivers yeah well we did say that this season is probably going to be the inter uh, interesting one and proving that it's not only because of the driver changes as we're here on lap number 10 down the inside defending that inside is the number 38 can he take his first ever win of the season we'll have to see blaney and kyle bush looking down to the inside will kyle bush send it Oh, he tries to, but only gets up in front of Austin Dillon. And uh, yes, a investigation has been confirmed to happen against his car, despite the fact that he is doing a tiny tad bit uh, worse than he was doing uh, uh, like last week or something at Daytona. They are still investigating his car. So, you know what, Alex, from what I can tell, uh, Austin Dillon's not going to be happy about that investigation against his car, or at least not as being, oh, who's that who's crashed here on the final lap? I think it's Kowalski, I cannot tell at this current moment, but it's the final lap of the race, and confirmed, it is... Keselowski, yes, it's Keselowski who's crashed on the final lap of the race as they're coming through turn number three. Will Kyle Busch be able to take a second win ever on this channel? We'll have to see as we come across the line. 
oh, it's the 23 who's jumped ahead out of nowhere. And uh, what had happened there, the 23 must have been shoved or something to roll and get such an amazing run. But no, it's not Keslowski, it's the number 37 that's crashed there. Unfortunate for him to crash, but uh, so surprise winner is Baba Wallace. Oh, what a win. Uh, I don't think he got a win last season. Actually, he might have gotten a win race number six in 2022. But here in 2023, Bubba Wallace wasn't as lucky. But uh, definitely the one who definitely had the least amount of luck is uh, Alex Bowman. But we're going to definitely have to have a replay of what was that finishing order but uh yeah that that was honestly chaos that's probably be the most chaotic end to a race that has ever happened a last lap crash but uh, let's see what happened uh at the pit lane there so uh it was Keslowski leading in uh, the pits there. Though the 78 had the better pit stop and there was this weird uh, thing that happened in, in the pits or something. But uh, Keslowski led out of the pits followed by the 78 and the number 4 of Harvick who was actually the uh, second place sitter, because last year was the pole sitter. Uh, yeah. And then there was a uh, caution because of the brief. But uh, let's discuss the last lap of the race. Right here is the number 37's crash, and uh, oh, it looks no. like he just just bounced off of the uh, the small incline there on the on the final wrap it, it looks like he bounced off of that but anyways continuing on where where's baba wallace before the end of the race he's all the all the way there as i just dropped something he's all the way back there uh i i honestly don't know how he got the on the final lap but what a performance so uh yeah could we just get what the finishing order was please okay guys so uh as to not bore you i'm going to give you only the top 10 so that i don't bore you with naming all the 40 or so drivers and so, in first place, as you saw, was Bubba Wallace. Then, it was the 78. And by just a bumper behind is Cal Bush. And even closer in third place is Austin Cindric. Sorry, in fourth place is Austin Cindric. So, let me just uh, rewind there. So, in first is Bubba Wallace. Second is the number 78. In third place is Cal Bush in the number 18. And in fourth place is the number 4 in uh, the, is the number 2 of Austin Cindric. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. It, it is a bit hard to make out. But what I could make out was in fifth place was Martin Truex Jr. And uh, yeah. <laughs>